Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about a disturbing situation that happened last weekend while I was fishing overnight during a rare blue moon. Dude, tell me you just saw that. Yeah. I'm also going to share my first impressions with some of this castable sonar technology and whether or not I think it's worth the price tag. Let's go. When I heard we weren't having another blue moon for two years, I had to plan an overnight fishing trip and find out if the fishing would be red hot or dead. I wasn't prepared for what ended up happening that night. Okay, it's just before 1am and we're at the spot. The moon is just lighting the outdoors up. This is going to be pretty sick. Oh, hmm. So when I was done getting my rigs all set up and in the water, I decided to set up a motion time lapse. Even though the video looks bright, it was actually 3.30 in the morning and pitch black outside. While sitting in the dead of night, we noticed this really bright light appear on the left-hand side of the sky. It hovered for a minute and then shot off to the right across the entire length of the sky and then disappeared into the night. What we saw in the sky that night is like nothing I've ever experienced before and I still have no idea what we witnessed. As the sun started to come up, I realized the day wasn't going like I had hoped it would. Aside from one small subtle bite, and sighting a few fish throughout the day. It's uh, right in between those two right. chunks. Right to the right of right to the right Jesse. Of but he's active, like he's moving, he's swimming. I don't know if it was the blue moon or the fact that we were in the middle of a heat wave, but the day was a total bust. We packed it up and headed out. I shook it off and the following weekend I headed out to do a little river fishing and experiment with a new piece of electronics that I bought. And to improve my odds of catching some fish, I stopped by the night before and chummed the area. I used the sonar to find the most optimal spot to drop the bait. One thing I love about carp fishing is just experimenting with the bait and having fun with it. Look at the bald eagle. Wow. First freaking cast and I'm already marking fish right on top of my bait. And it was at this moment that I realized that this little toy packed some serious value. It took no time at all to get that first bite. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to close the deal and I ended up losing this fish. I'd later find out there was a giant spool of tangled braid underwater. I'd end up losing two more fish on it before I could get the braid out.
beautiful river carp. Did the deeper plus help me catch this? Kind of. It helped me decide where I'm gonna set up, where I'm gonna put my bait pile, uh, the best location for my style of fishing. And seeing some fish on there gave me the confidence to know that they're here today. Beautiful river common. Let's get this back in the water. I brought my sling and then we'll take some photos. If you're fishing from a boat or a kayak, there's way better electronics and technology you could purchase. So I wouldn't be excited to use this from a boat, but from shore, that would be where I see the real t application for this. It's easy to pack, it's light, you can bring it with you. This is a little bit more of a luxury item. So what I would say is if you've got the money and you're not uh, missing out on a certain, you know, reliable rod or reel, and you're a avid shore fisherman, I do see value in this. You do learn very quickly. You can make better decisions with regards to your presentations, your baits, and what you're gonna target that day. So for me, a multi-species fisherman that's always exploring new water, I would say, yeah, it's great to have this in my arsenal. Any good day fishing for me, any great day fishing for me, is putting one fish on the bank. I don't care how big it is or how small it is, my goal is always to just get one on the bank. So I can safely say mission accomplished today, even though we didn't light them up. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Big fish just surface. Thanks for watching, have a great day.